I do freelance graphic design beside my full time job and you know what, you cannot bring your laptop all over the places you work. And for that reason, iPad can be a great solution for your mobile workstation. You can carry your iPad all over the places wherever you go. Basically, I use a Windows computer for my normal workflow and beside that i just use an ipad for my temporary or mobile workstation i really don't have any laptop so the thing is that i need to work on some sort of application in order to do my graphic design work during this video i'm going to show you my top favorite application that i use every day for my graphic design kind of work this is your host james prince and welcome to ipad nerd Before proceeding on, I just want to let you know that this channel is dedicated for iPad related videos. If you are an iPad owner or if you want to buy an iPad very soon, then you can consider subscribing to this channel to get iPad related latest videos. So the first app I want to show you is that Sketchbook. This is a free app that you can download from App Store. This app is specially made for drawing kind of work. You can draw and this app is very much powerful. If you do not want to invest your money for a app that you can draw, then you can consider using this app. It was a paid app earlier and you can download this app free and this is very much useful app for drawing you can draw a lot of things there are a lot of brushes you can use and the color palette is very much uh, user friendly so you can give it a try you can use this app and the next app I want to share with you is Lightroom. I use Lightroom all the time but if you want to use some of the pro feature then you have to buy the subscription and I don't like subscription that's why I'm not using the subscription model I'm just using the basic feature that it offer you can do all the things except doing selective color adjustment and raw photo edit i generally do not do raw photo edit on my ipad if i need to do it i do it on my computer and if i have to do it on ipad then i use affinity photo which i'll share with you next so this app is very much useful and very much user friendly just what you get on your computer version you can get the same feature in this version and if you have creative cloud subscription you can download your photos from cloud and you can upload your edited photos from cloud which is very much convenient the next app and that i use all the time is affinity photo this is the photoshop of ipad if you need to do any kind of manipulation any kind of photoshop related work then this app is a must for you and this app is not free this is a paid app you have to pay ten dollar to use this app and most of the pro app are paid up if you need it you have to pay i will not insist you to buy but if you need this kind of work to do every day then definitely consider buying this app this is a good investment and the payment is not a subscription model you have to just pay one time fee that's all you can use it all the time and the next step uh, let me show you some feature of this app just create a new document just we do on photoshop very simple and you can see that you can do all kind of work here you can uh, do manipulation you can edit raw photos and the layer panel is very much powerful you can apply different kind of adjustment layer different kind of filter everything you'll get here as like photoshop so the next app is affinity designer this is a direct competitor of adobe illustrator if you need to do illustration a lot then you can use this app and you can also export the file as a eps file svg file and using affinity photo you can export the file as a psd file too so if you want to do any kind of work just you can do it just like that here is a fan tool if you need your brush you can use your brush there are a lot of preview shape here so if you want to do logo design or any kind of uh, print related design or any kind of vector art then this should be your first priority 
this is a very much professional app and as I said Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer they just compressed all the feature from their computer version they have their computer I mean Windows and Mac version too so they just pulled all the features from that version to the iPad app so you can use this app too and the last but not the least app is Procreate this is a iPad only app if you want to draw on iPad which I think everyone want to draw you just have to draw on an iPad if you have this pen so this is a very very much uh, feature packed app I have made this illustration earlier I'm just trying to I'm not an illustrator but I'm just learning so here is a drawing I have did a little while ago this is a illustration of a cactus so if you want to draw an iPad then procreate is a best software for you the feature of this app is very much powerful and they have designed this application only for iPad and they designed it as a touch interface only uh, application and for that reason these apps is very very much powerful and very much uh, relaxing to use when I get time I just use procreate uh, let me show you how it work just I just made a canvas here you'll get a lot of pre built brush and you can import brushes from out outside here is the color palette and here is the layer panel so you can just draw if we're into typography then this app is a great choice for you I will highly recommend you to use this app if you are a designer if you want to draw or if you are interested to learn draw this app is so so much powerful here I have done some of my thumbnail for my other channel using this app. So that's all for today. I hope you have liked that video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. I'll catch you on the next video. Until then, goodbye.